In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. We call them the Franks. In unreckoned number, horse and foot, lord and commoner alike, they cross the threshold to the east with a lust for war and plunder. Their ambition, to seize the holy city of Jerusalem and all Bilad Sham beyond. Terror spread among the Muslims. City by city, we succumbed. The infidels prevailed, but their lawless conquest would be answered by the roar of our righteous lions. These pages tell the story of our struggle, of the courage of great leaders who fought for our land and our faith. With God's favor upon them, they unsheathed their swords and sharpened their spears and earned their place in our eternal memory. I begin the story at the last bastion of the faithful, the ancient fortress of Tyre. May God protect her. Play button. The port of Tyre had yet held out against capture. But in this year, the king of Jerusalem attacked with renewed fervor. Foreseeing the city's demise, Tyre's governor beseeched the ruler of Damascus to hasten a vigorous force to his aid. At great speed, the most honorable Tukhtakin drew up to the city with a host of his Turkic horse archers. He planned to undermine the siege by attacking the Franks' resources. Tukhtakin's riders were unrivaled. Their hooves thundered and their arrows flew. They struck with such speed that the enemy would never know his own assailant. Without hesitation, Tukhtakin destroyed the Frankish camps. The more he did so, the more he weakened the attack on Tyre. Tell 
için bir tık. Buyruk mu olursun? Ben atış kıldım. Okçular çekil. Hamdı. Yoruluk geçti. Ya. Bizde ateş ederler. Tamam. Okçu hazır. Warriors and refugees arrived by land and sea, eager to join the fight. The nearby settlement would serve as a place to muster a fearsome army. Fertile fishing waters lay close to the shore. The Damascenes had only to command a few of their number to fish there, and no soldier would need endure the roar of an empty belly. Word came that the Franks had gathered a great stockpile of lumber. They surely intended the wood for their siege weaponry. But the dry wood easily burns. Dr. King would rally every spear and horseman to bring their torches to battle. <laughs> Anut. Mada. Inna hawam. Bana bir hediye inhinamım cevvaldir. Azimet ederim. Bitik ya. Oh, 
Okçu ilk gelir. Okçular. İnhin amca seyir eylemeye iktidar ederim. Okçular hazır. جاهزة للعمل أجل مرحبا Thanks. At this time, 
bow to their King Baldwin of Jerusalem, a man whose rigid heart was fixed on the conquest of Tyre. To this end, Baldwin's men began constructing a colossal siege weapon, a wheeled beast, a ram of thunderous power, a destroyer of cities. The Damascenes had little time to gather their strength before the Titan attacked. Though the stout city walls had borne Tyre through countless attacks, they now faced a trial of unimagined scale. Within the city, every archer, craftsman, smith, and sailor were called to the walls in Tyre's most desperate hour. Relentlessly, the Franks did the bidding of their king, toiling by sun and moon to build his war machine. Ferocious as it seemed, the beast's weakness was its wooden construction. With enough flame bearers, the Damascenes could burn it to ash. Dr. Keen called on his spearmen and his horsemen to ready their torches. Yeah. 
الحجاج نحن مستعدون سأفعل هربلوا بالطبع الفرصة سأنفذ سأذهب سأذهب للتعدين سيتم تشييد ذلك أصبوا في الحال سيتم تشييد ذلك Concluded the construction of their infernal colossus. Anut, I'm there. Yeah. مستعدون على الأحصنة أيها الكشافة انطلقوا اتبعوا الأوامر بدون تأكيد أعبروا راكبا Labored along its forsaken path. The Damascenes raised their battle cry, united in their zeal to slay this monster. The Frankish garrison buzzed with the drone of a thousand hornets, ready to destroy. The Damascenes would surely perish in such a nest of evidence. The tower erupted in splinter and flame. Its accursed architects fled, tail turned and ashamed in their failure. Tyre, city of the ancients, gateway to the Middle Sea, and now fortress of refuge, rejoiced in its hard-fought victory. The Tyrians wept and thanked God for his fearless Damascene deliverers. <laughs> 